gasoline I smell? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you all are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today guys I want to talk about actors that could portray Dr. Loomis in 2022. Now I'm saying in 2022 even though uh, you know I know that we won't get a new Halloween movie for quite some time right. I think that the soonest maybe like 2025, 2026 that's my bet, but obviously I don't know, but I'm obviously just talking about actors that I think, you know, could totally play Loomis, uh, you know, maybe in this decade, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But anyway, uh, let's get right into this list. And, uh, you know, I was just picking some actors that I think could really, uh, really could just be Dr. Loomis, you know, and I really, really do believe that whatever movie, whatever Halloween movie we'll get, I do believe that Dr. Loomis is gonna be a part of it because he was like, at least I think that he was really missed in the new Blumhouse trilogy because uh, like Dr. Loomis is like so important to this franchise and you know, it's such a shame that, you know, uh, we just can't have Donald Pleasance to return. Uh, it's just a, such a shame, you know. So it's just like because he was obviously so amazing. So again, I this is just my list, you know, of actors that I chose. So let's get right into this list. So now this these aren't like in any order, you know. So even though I'm saying like number one, number two, number three, that's not like uh, the order of like the greatness or anything like that. Okay. So number one is Gary Oldman, and Gary Oldman is obviously a really, really amazing actor. Uh, you know, he did so many roles, obviously. He was, uh, you know, in, for example, in the Harry Potter franchise. You know, then he won an Oscar, I believe, for his role as Winston Churchill in that, what was that movie, Darkest Hour, right? So he's like a really, really good actor, you know? <clears throat> He's a really experienced actor, and obviously he's also a British actor, you know, same as Donald Pleasance was, right? So that's obviously really great. Now, the only, and you know, honestly, uh, he also kind of looks like Donald Pleasance, which is kind of weird, but in a, in a good way, you know, I guess. But uh, I think that the only problem would be that a lot of actors, you know, still consider horror movies to be sort of like B tier or C tier movies, you know, like once they go into horror, there's no way back and that's, you know, that it is like just a one way ticket and that then you're just like degrading your career, which is obviously not true, but some actors still do believe that and obviously they don't want to get into horror movies for that reason, so I don't know if Gary Oldman would actually do a horror movie, but I think that he would definitely be uh, he would definitely be a great choice. Now, my another choice, my number two, is Jason Isaacs. Now, Jason Isaacs is also a British actor, known for, you know, uh, being in the Harry Potter franchise, but he was also in, you know, The Cure for Wellness, which is a really, really great movie, and I believe he was the principal there. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that movie, and I think that he could be a Dr. Loomis-like character, um, but, you know, mainly he could be Dr. Loomis, right? And, again, uh, he's like 60 or something, so, again, age-wise, that's perfect for Dr. Loomis, and I, and, and I think that he could totally pull off a Dr. Loomis, you know? So, Jason Isaacs is my another choice. Let's get into my third choice. And my third choice is Lawrence Fishburne. Now, Lawrence Fishburne actually, again, age-wise, he's, you know, right there. He could totally be Dr. Loomis, uh, you know, and I think that, again, I think that he could be a Dr. Loomis. Now, obviously, there's Kind of like a thing with him that amazing. Obviously now he's part of the John Wick franchise, but I, I think that actually he could do a, a Halloween movie. I think he could do 
uh, uh, Dr. Loomis role. I, I think that he would be great for this role. And so Lawrence Fishburne is my third choice for Dr. Loomis. And, you know, I, I, and I think, again, I think he got the looks. I think he got the voice needed for this. So, again, I think he's a great choice, uh, you know, to be Dr. Loomis. Now, my fourth choice, my next choice is uh, a bit... You know, maybe not that great, but honestly, I think that it would work. And that's John Lithgow. John Lithgow is a really popular and, you know, known actor, obviously. Now, one problem with him is that he's obviously a bit older. I believe that he's like 77 years, now, years old now. So, obviously, when uh, they would actually film some next Halloween movie could be 80 or something. So age-wise, that's honestly, that's a bit of a stretch to be honest. But again, I don't really know. But I think he might, you know, pull it off. But the thing is that I actually, when I saw him in the Pet Cemetery remake, which I thought that that movie was actually pretty decent, uh, that scene, you know, uh, you know, when he's talking to uh, the main character, I forgot his name, uh, you know, uh, uh, in his house, I was like, yeah, he could totally do a Dr. Loomis. And he also had like a really sort of like long white beard in that movie. So it also reminded me a bit of Loomis. So I think that John Lithgow could be Dr. Loomis. Again, I think that the only issue with him is the age. I think that he's just a bit too old, but, you know, never say never, right? And now, uh, the last actor I get on this list is a bit of a wild card, because he was in a horror movie before, uh, and he's, you know, really young for Dr. Loomis. He's like 42, so he would need to be like a young version of Dr. Loomis, right? And that's James McAvoy. James McAvoy was in uh, M. Night's uh, Split, right? And then he was in the Glass movie, right? And so he was in a horror movie before. And he's like a really, really good actor. And when you take a look at him, you can totally see a young version of Dr. Loomis. And I think he looks phenomenal. He looks exactly like, like I imagine young Loomis to look. So... I, I think that's fantastic, honestly. Again, he, he would need to play a young version of Dr. Loomis or a younger version of Dr. Loomis, right? But again, I think that he would be an amazing choice. Uh, but then again, James McAvoy is kind of famous, so would he do a Halloween movie? Um, I hope so, because again, I think that as a young Dr. Loomis, he looks pretty damn good, and he can totally pull off a young Dr. Loomis, 100%, I believe that. Anyway, guys, these are my picks for Dr. Loomis in 2022, but I want to know your picks for Dr. Loomis. Who do you think should play Dr. Loomis next? Let me know that down below in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. That's all for today. Uh, take care as always. I'll see you in the next one. And bye.